fun going. Welcome, friends, coast to coast and worldwide. You're live on the air with Pastor Rick. All right, Spreaker.com. How are you guys doing? Pastor Rick here. Uh, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Let's go over to our... Oh, let's go on over to our Blog Talk Radio. We're doing an update podcast message here a little after 4.30 p.m. on your dial. Just going to give you guys a quick update uh, as we go live on Blog Talk Radio. All right. Give me a minute. All right, there it is. Blog Talk Radio Spreaker, uh, channel one and two for June 14th, Tuesday, early or late afternoon, actually. Uh, 445 on your dial, my friends. We're starting this at 430. Just a quick update. Uh, I got this locked in for about an hour, but uh, well, I just wanted to Get back on here, touch bases with you guys, and let you know what is happening. I am back, feeling a little bit better, still sore, still bruised. Uh, I had a couple of falls this past week, uh, one after the other. It wasn't very good, uh, and so I have been really uh, just laid back, or laid out, actually. Uh, <laughs> laid back, sleeping, getting a much, uh, much rest, and... Uh, Trying to get back on top of things here. Oh, like I said, friends, it has been a rough week. You know, every time I get close to God, the devil comes out with full claws. And uh, boy, does he attack uh, major. So I'm feeling, like I said, I'm feeling uh, up enough to, uh, feeling better enough to uh, go ahead and podcast. Uh, So this is going to be a quick update. I'm going to go through the scripture notes and uh, maybe one or two scriptures here. Uh, so we got about an hour together here uh, for this Tuesday update here, update message. Uh, but uh, yeah, and then probably tomorrow, I think I got something scheduled about three o'clock uh, in the afternoon. Uh, we're going to go back on uh, Melon TV, and then I'll go ahead and go back on. Uh, Oh, what is it? Uh, Restream TV again for tomorrow night. So I'm going to get back on schedule uh, back uh, full, you know, the full time uh, podcast schedule. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to get on this morning. Uh, Not, you know, you know how that goes here. I didn't get a chance to do that. So anyway, I'm feeling pretty good and, uh, uh, you know, ready to get back on track. So, uh, you know, bear with me. Thank you guys for being so patient uh, for this week. I know it's, uh, you know, there's been a huge gap, like eight days, and and everybody's asking me, are you okay? I'm like, well, no, no, I I had, uh, I've been, was having actually some migraine, uh, pretty bad migraine headaches again, and then the side of my, uh, my left side was having pretty bad issues, so uh, I had two falls um, Monday, Monday and Tuesday uh, last week, and uh, didn't recover from the first fall, and then I fell again on uh, Tuesday doing some work and landscaping and roofing, uh, back up on that again, I had to take some supplies up there uh, and some paint and stuff, and well, that wasn't so good. Uh, so anyway, uh, back on track here, friends. Again, thank you guys for being so patient. Uh, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network, uh, Pastor Rick here on Tuesday late uh, afternoon here. Uh, I'm live on Spreaker, Channel 1 and 2 uh, for a backup, or 1 and 3 actually for a backup, and then Block Talk Radio. So like I said, this isn't going to be a full uh, podcast. It's not going to be a full broadcast here. I just wanted to give you guys an update, some scriptures. We're going to pray it in. We got our coffee. Uh, and uh, again, uh, things aren't going to change. My format's not changing. People have asked me about that. Uh, I have several emails about that. Hey, you're changing your format over. You're going to 
do something a little different because uh, what you're doing isn't working and uh, you know your views are are really bad they're they're low and well i'm not i'm discouraged i've been discouraged friends and, and you guys always know how upfront and, and uh transparent i am with you but no i am not changing the format uh, i'm going to stick to the plan that uh, god has called me to uh, even as discouraged as I have been feeling, uh, no support, uh, lack of views, it's all, according to God's plan, that's all immaterial. You just do what God has commanded and called you to do, so that is the plan. <laughs> I'm not going to deviate away from that. So I will be back on Bible Studies, back on uh, Bible Study Podcast uh, tomorrow, like I said, for the Wednesday midweek service. Uh, should be, like I said, uh, about 3 o'clock. Uh, let me check that schedule here real quick. And let's see. Let's see, I don't really see. Uh, it may be 11. <laughs> it may be 1130. It may be 3 o'clock. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to, uh, well, I'll go ahead and, um, I'll go ahead and get that on there and get all that set up for you. Uh, so that's going to be awesome. Anyway, be, you know, be back on track and uh, back on full service, full podcast, uh, full podcast service. All the channels, uh, again, Melon TV, YouTube, Twitch TV. Uh, I did do an update on there last week, but like I said, it's been about eight days. I've been out. Uh, and then, like I said, you guys know always how transparent I am. Uh, I've been battling uh, some de- personal issues, some depression, anxiety. Uh, you know, like I said, I've been reading uh, reading some of the emails and, uh, you know, the comments and stuff. And they're like, well, you know, you, you need to quit because God is uh, giving you signs and you're not... Uh, you're not paying attention. Well, I don't think so. I don't think God would want any of his uh, children to uh, stop preaching this good news gospel. So uh, I'm not listening to that. I, <laughs> I'm not buying into it. Uh, this was just some physical uh, issues that I had. Uh, and uh, as I'm trying to pull up a couple of things, so bear with me here, folks. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, I'm not giving up on what God has called me to do for sure. I, I know he has, uh, he has, uh, asked me, you know, called me into this basically. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> amen. All right. Well, anyway, uh, I'm not giving up. I'm not stopping and, uh, definitely not, uh, not going to quit, uh, you know, especially, like I said, uh, what God has commanded and called me to do. So, Mr. Devil, dude, get your coffee and your minions and keep packing and keep walking for sure. Well, let's just pray it in real quick, friends. And uh, like I said, I got about an hour or so here. Um, I'm having some, probably some problems with my glasses here again. So, uh, hey, man, let's go ahead and just pray it in, brothers and sisters, and uh, then we'll go ahead and get into some scripture notes, uh, some uh, podcast scripture notes, uh, and then uh, maybe one or two scriptures for tomorrow. And like I said, if I don't do it at 1130 tomorrow morning, uh, I will be back uh, tomorrow afternoon sometime. Uh, we, I, I'm, not do- <laughs> I'm not doing much work of anything uh, really, for the next few days, I'm really just going to rest it out. I have one uh, yard to take care of uh, sometime in the next few days, and then that'll be it. So, well, for now, anyway. Anyway, let's go ahead and pray it in, friends. Church, come on in. Let's get some uh, Bible study today for our Tuesday late afternoon podcast. Uh, doing the audio podcast again. Just wanted to get back on here and kind of, uh, you know, let you guys know what's happening, what's going on with the ministry and what's going on with me since I haven't been here for about eight days or so. Let's get to it. Oh, precious Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, for this afternoon, for this uh, podcast, for the uh, studio, for the weather, for everything. Father God, that you continue to do, you, you know, just continue to bless uh, everything here, uh, you know, through adversity, through attacks, uh, spiritual, physical, 
uh, emotional uh, attacks. Father God, uh, you you get us through. You get me through, and uh, boy, I appreciate that. I, I thank you for that. Uh, as you continue to give me that zeal, that fire, that drive for this mission that you have called me to. You are our provider, our healer, our everything. And we lean on you. We trust in you. We keep that faith. No matter what, no matter how slim that is, Father God, you always get us through our situation. So uh, thank you uh, again, Father God. Now I want to, again, pray for uh, uh, family, friends, uh, everybody hearing, listening, watching, everybody, uh, you know, that uh, tuned in to this podcast. Lift them up, encourage them, give them that strength and hope that they are searching for, too, in this desperate, uh, dark world here. Father God, thank you for everything that you continue to do, have done, and uh, will do. So I give it all to you. Lay the crown at your feet, Father God. Thank you for everything that you continue to do. You heal, you, you know, you by your stripes. Uh, it's just by your stripes we are healed. So I believe that. I keep the faith on that. So thank you, God, for your hand is on this ministry. Uh, on the Wi-Fi, on the channels, on all the, uh, you know, everything here on the studio. Uh, so thank you for that uh, as well as your angels are watching over us, guiding us, and protecting us. Uh, as we have a good church service here tonight, uh, this late evening, or late afternoon. Uh, and, uh, you know, all those that are out there uh, right now doing your work and preaching your word. Thank you for that and them. I give them uh, st- strength and hope. Father God, I just lay this at your feet. I thank you for everything that you continue to do. In Jesus' precious name, I pray right now. Amen. All right, my friends, I am here. Good to be back on. Well, you can't see me yet, but I will be on. Like I said, we're going to do uh, Melon TV tomorrow. Uh, first service, and then I'll get back on the Wisdom Channel for our second service, and then I think uh, I'll switch that around, and we'll do Restream TV tomorrow night sometime, I think about 11, I'm not sure, but uh, I am going to get back on that uh, three times or four times, well, I (laughs) I think it's twice on uh, twice on YouTube, and uh, well, once on Twitch, I'm going to stick to that program, stick to that uh, that uh, scheduling Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, and Sundays on Twitch TV, and then the rest of the week is going to be on YouTube and Blog Talk Radio, and of course, Anchor, Castbox, and more. Uh, amen, friends. So, again, I just got to give you a quick update, quick rundown here on uh, you know on the on the podcast. Give you a few. Messages here. We're going to run through our scripture notes. Uh, I think I want to go ahead and put some armor on because uh, that's most definitely uh, what we need to do. And uh, so, always, uh, you know, always got to put that armor on. All right. Well, let's get to it. I got the coffee. We're in Studio A, friends. You are live on the air. Uh, I am still your host, Pastor Rick, not going anywhere. I just got hurt pretty bad and uh, really, you know, on top of that, a combination on top of that, uh, I got, uh, well, of course, you guys know I've been battling, like I said a few times, I have been battling some uh, anxiety and some depression. So, uh, you know, even though I'm, I'm trying to be as strong as I possibly can, you know, do my best here. Uh, the devil still attacks, and uh, so that was part of the reason uh, that I had stayed off all week. And you know, like I said, I've been reading the emails, uh, messages. Everybody's like, "Well, there's your proof because you uh, your views are down, and nobody's really supporting you." Well, you know, as the Bible clearly states, ears to hear and eyes to see. So not everybody's going to get it. And I I had to go back and look at, you know, examine what I'm doing and, and take a look at uh, everything that I've been uh, doing here. And uh, not everybody's going to get it, you know. And that kind of, you know, that scripture finally kind of put things into perspective that, uh, you know, uh, we preach the gospel to those to hear. You know, uh, and uh, as it says, uh, eyes to 
uh, or ears to hear and eyes to see. Not everybody's going to get it. Not everybody's going to understand, uh, you know, what we do, uh, you know, uh, those of us that preach this message. Not everybody's going to get it or understand it or comprehend it. Uh, and so uh, we just have to keep fighting through it and keep going through it and not get discouraged. Because that's a, you know, I know that's a tool of the enemy, the tool of the devil. He likes to go in there and discourage us and distract us and uh, throw us off our positions and our callings and, you know, our, you know, as my uh, as my friend was saying, well, I was about to get a, a promotion and a raise, but, uh, you know, I, I didn't think I could handle it. And, you know, so that doubt and that discouragement, that's all stuff from the enemy. Uh, you know, that that's all, uh, boy, that's all stuff from the enemy. And, and they, you know, the devil certainly attacks. And he knows the weaknesses. He knows our weaknesses. And he, you know, he preys on that. So he, you know, he, he'll attack uh, when we are, uh, I think uh, what we was talking about, where he, he, he attacks when we are at our, like our lowest uh, point. And he'll, you know, try to drag us down and fight with us and discourage us and, and you know, say all kinds of nonsense. So this is why, my friends, that we need our armor. So let's go into some scriptures here. Not much time uh, tonight with you, uh, but like I said, I just wanted to get back on here and uh, give you guys a quick audio update for tonight. So, well, for now, anyway, and then like I said, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, uh, I will be back on, uh, back on regular uh Back on regular track, uh, or, or scheduling anyway. So let's put some armor on. Go to your Bibles, brothers and sisters, as we go into Ephesians 6, 10 through 20 out of the King James, of course. Now, finally, my brethren and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand uh, against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand an evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is, of course, the Word of God. Uh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication. Uh, my computer went to sleep again. My laptop here, kind of a distraction. Uh, oh, let's see. All perseverance and, of course, supplication for all the saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that that their enemy speak boldly as I ought to speak. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, friends, so we're going to go into our notes here, and uh, let me go ahead and grab those. So, yeah, friends, you guys know, like I said, I always try to be as transparent with you as I can. I'll let you know what's going on. Uh, you know, we've been battling quite a bit. I've been battling a, a, a quite a bit here, a lot of uh, uh, distractions and uh, physical problems and stuff. Uh, definitely uh, not as spry as I used to be. <laughs> So, you know, when I take a fall, uh, you know, when we take a fall there, you know, it, it's not easy to uh, rebound and get back. So it's taken me some time, like I said, all week to to really, uh, you know, physically be strong enough to even sit, you know, for a couple hours. So, uh, no, I've managed a couple little updates this week, but nothing, you know, like I'm doing now and, and not definitely not back on uh, YouTube and uh, Melon TV and Restream TV. It's been pretty rough, and again, battling the depression and anxiety. But uh, you know, God gives us the strength, and He makes a way where there is no way. So uh, you know, I went back, kind of just really rested, uh, 
you know, did some light work to get physically back. I did some walking uh, around the block and uh, around the studio and stuff. And, uh, well, uh, feeling uh, strong enough and, and, you know, mentally and emotionally uh, strong again uh, as I went back to my notes and went back to my depression uh, notes and, and, of course, got back in my Bible. Uh, and, uh, you know, like kick that devil right out, sent him back to hell. Uh, and that's what we got to do when, when, uh, you know, as I always say, hey, the, the devil is the discourager and, uh, God, our Lord and savior is our encourager. So whose report are, are you going to listen to folks, uh, friends? And, uh, so, you know, I have to. Uh, I have to rely on God, knowing that he's got a, a bigger, better plan, as I always say, uh, you know, friends. And uh, I always talk about that all the time. And, uh, you know, I always put the scriptures, uh, you know. Uh, so everything I'm sharing with you guys, I'm going back to myself and I'm going back to those notes and those scriptures. Uh, you know, it, it takes a little bit longer to kind of come out of it, but I eventually do. And you guys can do that, too, uh, in your anxieties and your depression and, in, you know, and in, in everything that your situations that you're going through. Uh, as it says, uh, this too shall pass. Uh, and we have to rely on God. You know, uh, we don't always hear from him. We don't always, uh, you know, we don't always hear uh, some of them I don't always hear from them, and uh, so you know I I just got to rely on what I've been taught and how I've been taught and in the messages and scriptures and and where to go to to find those encouraging words. Uh, you know, just surround yourself with the audio Bible. You know, and uh, just read your read your Bible. So. Uh, that's what we got to do, you know, especially these end times. I'm telling you, friends, it is not uh, it is not easy. Uh, there is a lot. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of problems out there. Uh, and we know that for sure. So we have to, uh, you know, we have to just dig in and trust God and knowing that he's he's got a good plan for us. And we have to just rely on that. And hold on. Uh, again, and not uh, not get discouraged. And I know that's easy to you know easy to do is to fall into discouragement. I battle it all the time, friends. And so uh, you know, I will be I will be back on track here. You know, whether I'm preaching to one person or whether I'm preaching to a thousand per people uh, or persons, I guess uh, you know one to a thousand. Uh, I just have to stay focused, and that does wear on you. You know, you guys that are out there, you doing this, you know, you see the views, you see the subscribers, and then you look at other people, other channels that have millions of subscribers and stuff and followers, and, well, you know, they're in a de uh, another level, and I, I it took me a while to get past all that, too. And it's like, well, what am I doing? What, I, what do I got to do to change? Of course, the offers came in, but... Uh, that's not what God has called me to do personally or uh, what God has called maybe you guys, you know. Uh, we got to stick to the plan that God has called us to. Be encouraged and uh, keep that strength, keep that hope, and not give up, uh, you know, because that's really what the devil wants. He, he just wants uh, all our attention on our situation and on him and not on uh, not on God. So, uh, you know, that's a tough, uh, tough thing to go through and experience. But, hey, we all have our, our trials and tribulations, right? So we have to stay encouraged and stay focused on what God has called us to do. And that's what I got to do. I mean, I'm just not, you know, <laughs> I'm preaching to myself, too. You know, as hard as it gets, as tough as it gets. I, you know, I got a lot to be grateful for and a lot to be thankful for. And, and I know. Uh, I know God is, uh, you know, he's got a higher plan for me. So I just got to stick to the plan, not give up, not get discouraged, uh, and uh, keep going. So anyway, what's going on with my headset here? I got some bad chords or something, and that's just typical. Uh, amen. 
man. So anyway, let's go ahead and go to the serenity prayer because I'm definitely feeling I need to do that. Give me a minute. I got a bad cord. I just straightened it out five minutes before the podcast. Uh, and uh, for some, uh, hang on here. <laughs> For some reason, it's not working. I don't know what it is with these cords. Uh, I have so many of them kind of draped around here. Uh, I did the best I could with. Uh, uh, I did the best I could with what I had, and uh, boy, oh boy, I tell you, it's um, it's not working out. So I got cords tangled in cords and. Cables and wires and clips and <laughs> all kinds of things. Well, let's go ahead and get into our serenity prayer, friends. Like I said, this is just going to be a brief update uh, uh, to let you guys know what's happening here. I've been out uh, off the uh, podcast thing for about a week or so, just trying to heal up and get better. Had a couple of falls. Uh, and uh, so physically good enough to sit for a few hours and talk to you guys. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, well, you know, God, God does heal. So, uh, I'm just glad to, you know, have, uh, have this, uh, option to talk to you guys in podcast here. Well, let's read some scriptures. Let's continue. How about the serenity prayer, friends? Uh, now God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Of course, living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, and accepting hardships as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. You know, we talk about that new Jerusalem. Now, again, this is just going to be a brief update, folks. Uh, friends, family, brothers and sisters, church, hey, man, back to the regular plan, uh, back to uh, the regular program. I am not switching. Uh, I am not going to divert away from what God has called me to, uh, you know, with regardless of the low views or subscriptions. You know, you guys that are already here that are subscribing and following uh, on all the channels, uh, you guys are the reason that I keep doing this, um, you know, uh, and uh, as a friend said, well, uh, God has assigned me to the sheep that follow and listen uh, and hear and don't be discouraged if the other, you know, if, the, if you know, that's, what was the, how was the phrasing on that? Um not to be discouraged uh, at the the calling and, uh, you know, because you are assigned to uh, to certain sheep, I guess. That was a, kind of the phrasing uh, they used. And, uh, well, you have to be a shepherd to those that are assigned uh, to you. So, and I didn't get that. I didn't understand that. But it, it really all made sense, and it was like, oh, yeah, okay, well, I, I got a, a, you know, a specific, uh, you know, a, a church, I guess, uh, sheep uh, that I am supposed to be shepherding, uh, and, uh, you know, I have to stay strong and, and be an example to the flock, so... Uh, so, you know, and I appreciate you guys, like I said, I do appreciate you guys being with me. Uh, you know, I know, like I said, there's lots of some inconsistencies and some, uh, gaps in there, but, uh, you know, so I thank you guys for your prayers, uh, and your support and of course all your patience, uh, here with the channel. Uh, I, I'm going to get back on, uh, track here, uh, you know, and fight through the discouragement uh, myself here. But uh, I will be uh, back on track. Got uh, already two weeks worth of podcasts already lined up for you. A lot of good scriptures. We're going to look at Amos and a whole lot more, of course, examine the Bible. Uh, so we're going to get back on track, have our church service. Now, again, Ears to hear, eyes to see. Those that do get it will get it. Those that don't won't get it. 
Uh, and, uh, you know, so <laughs> I got to. I got to not look at, you know, not look at the, the numbers, uh, you know, and just keep preaching this message that God has given me uh, to do and, and do this mission that uh, he has assigned me to. And, well, again, I personally thank you guys, uh, everybody that's following, subscribing on all the channels worldwide. It is a blessing, like I said, and, uh, you know, apologies in advance uh, for the gaps uh, on all the channels, not not just the main ones, but all on all the channels. I am doing the best I can. Uh, you know, God has laid everything out for me and said, "Hey, no excuse. I provided what you prayed for, and I gave you the increase that uh, you prayed for." And so now, uh, as He holds us on, on a higher accountability, uh, you know, I boy, oh boy, I tell you, it's a, it's a great responsibility, and I did pray for it. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna shy away from it. I did pray for the increase. I did pray for the, the, you know, the church. Uh, somebody said, "Hey, go out and get your own church." Well, uh, God laid that out for me and said, "Here you go." Now, do what you can, and do what I called you to do. So anyway, we're gonna. You know, hey, listen, I miss my, I miss my rambling, <laughs> friends. I miss my rambling. I didn't get a chance to do that too much, and uh, so now I, I'm back and uh, still got a little bit of cough, but not, you know, not as bad. But anyway, I miss my rambling. I miss my coffee, and uh, well, you know, it's not the coffee, but uh, I miss you guys. Uh, you guys are my family, uh, my brothers and sisters, the church that uh, again God has assigned me to. And uh, so we're going to get back on track again, full schedule. Check out YouTube, check out Twitch TV, uh, check out Melon TV, and of course, uh, Restream TV, Block Talk Radio, Spreaker, Tin Can, and more. Anchor Cast Box, of course, too. Uh, now, uh, don't forget all those channels. So uh, on every major podcast channel, coast to coast and worldwide, friends, you're live on the air, Pastor Rick. So let's keep going. I got a few more uh, for you. Let's go ahead and check out the Lord's Prayer. Be encouraged, my friends. And, I, and like I said, I'm I'm pointing them fingers right back at me too. <clears throat> uh, not giving up, not uh, changing formats, and not sca- uh, changing my schedule. Really, I, I I'm really not. Uh, it's pretty much. <laughs> I mean, as scrambled as it is, it's pretty much going to be the same. Uh, Monday through Sunday, uh, generally about 3, between 11.30 a.m. and uh, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and then another one after 10, 10 10.30, 11, something like that. Uh, Just have to, you know, go around the other minister that's, uh, that's here. Uh, in the other studios, uh, quite a distraction. You guys all know about all that situation. I've talked about that before in the past. Is a, I believe, sent in. Uh, well, I don't know about that, but I uh, sent in as a distraction, jealousy, Jezebel spirit, uh, Leviathan spirit, uh, disruption spirit. Uh, you know, anger and all that stuff, wrath, malice. Uh, all that he sent in to, you know, uh, disrupt what God has assigned me to. So I, you know, I pretty much have to work around it and uh, do what I can. So that's, again, that's why the, the scheduling and the podcast are so kind of a little inconsistent. And But I'm working on that. I am trying to remedy that situation. So Get back on track, friends. Amen. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick here on Tuesday back uh, doing an audio podcast for this after or late afternoon, I guess. And then, like I said, for Wednesday, I'll be back on either 1130 in the morning or 3 o'clock. I, I do have some work, uh, a little bit of light work this couple of days here. Uh, but we've had uh, some pretty disruptive weather which uh, I'm not surprised. I mean, really, uh, you know, it's uh, the weather has been uh, pretty, uh, pretty bad all over, basically uh, everywhere. All my friends I talked to said the weather has been pretty, pretty bad. So we're holding on, friends. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's go ahead and keep going. I got the Lord's Prayer for you. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses uh, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, church, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. Well, that's pretty good. Let's see. We'll go ahead and do that. Uh, all right. Well, I think I, I'm using the wrong glasses because I really can't see what I'm looking at. Well, let's go ahead and just dig into our Bible. we got about 20 minutes here left on the dial, friends, so I'm going to go ahead and just read out a couple of scriptures. Again, I'm not changing the format, uh, so I have been assigned uh, as a Bible pastor, a Bible teacher, Bible preacher, uh, to keep it straight out of the Word, uh, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm not, you know, I don't know how to do anything else, uh, really, I don't. Uh, you know, don't know how to really, uh, you know, I'm not, uh, as they say, I'm not a, a fiery Baptist preacher on the pulpit screaming and yelling, uh, preaching the word. Uh, I'm in training. I know that. I know I'm in my wilderness test, uh, but uh, I, and I know God will get me to that point, uh, but uh, patience and perseverance and, uh, of course, you know, just staying in my own lane and, and doing what uh, God has uh, called me to do. So we're just going to read some scriptures again. Uh, like I said, not changing the format, not changing over. Um, just really going to just stick to the Bible. So go with me, if you will, friends, to uh, Matthew chapter 16 and 17. Now, that's going to be repeated on tomorrow's broadcast. Uh, I wanted to go ahead and just read a, a couple of scriptures, and then we'll jump into, uh, oh, maybe we'll jump into our NLT recap uh, as well. So, all right, give me a minute, and then, all right, we, I think we got everything together here. Uh, all right, friends, let's go ahead and uh, dig into the word here. So, Matthew chapter 16 and 17, uh, brothers and sisters, let's go ahead and read that. Now, the Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting, uh, desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. And he answered and he said unto them, when it is evening, ye see, it will be uh, fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and uh, lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but ye cannot discern the signs of the times. Sound familiar, brothers and sisters, right? A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the prophet Jonah. And he left them and departed. And when his disciples were come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. Then Jesus said unto them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. And they reason among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. Amen. All right, my, my laptop's falling asleep here. So, as he says, And they reason among themselves, saying, Hang on. <laughs> Chords never changes here. Uh, let's see. So we're in six again, or seven, actually. It is because we have taken no bread. Now, in eight, which when Jesus perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, friends, why reason among ye are ye among yourselves? Because ye have brought no bread. Do ye not yet understand, neither remember? The five loaves of the five thousand, and how many baskets ye took up? 
neither the seven loaves of the 4,000 and how many baskets he took up? How is it that ye do not understand that I spake it not to you concerning bread, that ye should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees? Then understood uh, they how that he bade them or this, yeah, that is in verse 12. He bade them not beware of the leaven of the bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Now, Peter's confession. In verse 13, when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea, uh, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, uh, the Son of Man, am there it is all right and they said some say that thou art john the baptist some say elisha and others jeremiah or one of the prophets and he saith unto them but whom say ye that i am and simon peter answered and said thou art the christ the son of the living god amen and Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barona, for flesh and blood has not, not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, I, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Amen. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall he loosed in heaven. Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was uh, Jesus the Christ. Now Jesus foretells his passion. From the time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests uh, and the scribes and be killed and be raised again on the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. Uh, in verse 23, but he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art a fence unto men, for thou savorest not. See, that's what we got to do too, friends. We have to tell him, Get behind thee, Satan. Uh, you have no authority, and we're not going to give it to you. I know, friends. I'm I'm doing like I said. I'm doing the best I can. Uh, you know, I have the uh, battles just as you guys do as well. Uh, but uh, you know, like I said, hey, it doesn't it don't take me long to get out of it? But we, you know, we all have our battles, our demons, our our situations, uh, and we just have to again just rely on God and and just keep pushing through, friends. So again, thank you guys for uh, your support and patience and uh, yeah support there all right let's keep going now the things that be of God but those that be of men then said Jesus and his disciples if any man will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me and this is exactly what we got to do friends uh, and take up his cross and follow me <laughs> uh, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with the angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. 
Verily I say unto you, there be some standing there which shall not taste of death till they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. Now there you go, friends. How awesome is that? Okay, so give me a minute, and I think we're going to close out with uh, 16, uh, or verse 17 in Matthew. I think I want to go ahead and close out with that. Like I said, not a not a long one here. I um, do have a couple of things i got to uh, get set up for later. Uh, and tomorrow again, I like I said, well, I got I do have a couple of weeks worth of uh, podcast set up, but I'm still going through as always uh, notes and uh, you know scriptures and stuff. So, my friends, let's go ahead and uh, why don't we read about the transfiguration in the book of Matthew, chapter 17 here on your late uh, late afternoon um, podcast here. Uh, We'll go ahead and, you know, this will probably be like the shortest, one of the shortest podcasts I have done. Uh, so we've got, oh, we've got 45 minutes on the clock. So let's go ahead and keep rolling for a minute here or so anyway. So let's uh, jump into the Transfiguration, uh, friends, uh, Matthew chapter 17. And again, this is going to be repeated on the next broadcast. Uh, and again, it should be. Uh, in the morning, I in the morning or afternoon, we'll see uh, kind of how things go here. Um, <laughs> how things, you know, how things roll. So let's keep going. Let's uh, get a few, at least one or two more uh, for you here. Well, I want to make this an even hour anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, in verse 17, chapter 17, the transfiguration now, and after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, and bringeth them up on a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elisha talking with him. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make thee, uh, or make here, uh, three tabernacles, one for you. Let's see. My cord is messing up here. Hold on. It's a bad connection on this side again. I don't know why that's doing that. Ah, oh, mercy. <laughs> Hang on. Ah, oh, my friends. Brand new equipment. It's already getting faulty. Uh, it's already kind of falling apart here. I don't know why. I don't know why that does that. I don't get it. Anyway, let's keep going. So, we're talking about the transfiguration here, friends. In chapter 17 of the book of Matthew. And in verse 2, And was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as a light. And behold, there appeared unto, unto them uh, Moses and Elisha talking with him. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us be uh, here three tabernacles, one for thee and one for Moses and one for Elisha. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them and behold, the voice out of the cloud which said, this is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were sore afraid. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Jesus only. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. All right. I had a sleeping laptop again. So he tells them to, uh, let's see, where was he at? So they were so afraid, and Jesus came and he touched them and said, Arise, be not afraid. There it is in verse 7. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man save Jesus only. 
And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man, again in verse 9, until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. And his disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the scribes that Elisha must first come? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Elisha truly shall first come and restore all things. So watch that uh, message there, friends. See, as we pay attention to the Bible, it is very uh, very relevant to what is going on now. People say, ah, it's 2,000 years old or over 2,000 uh, years old. There's nothing to do. You know, man wants to twist it and change it around and, and fit it to their own agenda, their personal agenda or their personal thoughts or feelings. Well, we can't do that, uh, friends. The Bible is very relevant uh, of what is happening now in these end times. As, uh, many of us, not just me, but many of us have talked about the end times, friends. And we have to pay attention to the signs. Not be afraid, but pay attention. Uh, and, uh, you know, and, and as I... Uh, as I look at my calling and look at the reason why uh you know why i do what i do here i it you know it it i don't understand it i don't get it <laughs> you know why me lord well you know as i've talked about many times uh you know i i said oh, as i had that vision i was in the garden gethsemane there and i was watching all the activity going on everything that was happening and i i said here i am lord send me okay well you asked for it buddy <laughs> here you go and so you know we make those promises to god but what do we do with it and i've talked about that a lot you know what do we do with the promises that we we have made to god you know he'll hold us accountable for that and as that scripture clearly says, you know, a thousand years is to a day and a day is to a thousand years. We got to remember what we promised God, my friends. And I have promised, uh, you know, uh, you know, I'll get into that much later. But I, as he says, uh, you know, boy, oh boy, he'll hold us accountable uh, for sure. And so when we, you know, when, when we make promises to God, he'll, you know, he'll hold it to us. And, uh, so, and his, you know, we gotta just, we have to <laughs> remember what we promised him and, uh, you know, stay on our assignment, stay on our mission. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know, boy, oh boy, I, <laughs> I, I was like, oh no. I, you know, so as I look, you know, look at what my assignment is, look at what, what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um, I got to stay focused and, uh, uh, you know, always appreciate, uh, always appreciate what, uh, God says as he, as he says right here for whosoever will lose or give, uh, save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. So, and it says, again, if you go up to 24, uh, then Jesus said unto his disciples, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So, there you go. That's That was the promise I made, basically, uh, long and short of it. That was the promise I made. And, uh, well, uh, you know, so uh, I have to, you know, just... Keep focused and keep, uh, you know, keep uh, trusting God. He's got a, a good plan and a better plan and uh, stay on assignment. I know. So there it is. <laughs> anyway, there it is in a nutshell, friends. Uh, and so, you know, we uh, it's discouraged sometimes as we get. Uh, we just have to trust God and rely on him. So anyway. Kind of in a roundabout way, friends. Keep the faith, brothers and sisters, and don't let the devil uh, distract you or discourage you. I know I'm I battled with it myself, so you guys and you guys know that. So thank you guys again. Well, 
Uh, let's get back to our reading. Before I get too sidetracked and start going into left field here. Hey, I told you, things never change, friends. Uh, things don't change, and uh, I, um, I'm not... I'm not diverting out. So anyway, let's continue. Let's roll on, my friends. All right. But I say unto you in verse 12 that Elisha is come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Then the disciples understood that he spake unto the uh, unto them of John the Baptist. Now, uh, as we look at the disciples' unbelief again, end times, uh, friends, right here. Uh, well, kind of the whole thing is about it, but uh, we have to keep the faith, right? So, as he talks about this, uh, let's look at it in verse fourteen. The disciples' unbelief. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is a lunatic and sore vexed, for oftentimes he falls into the fire and oft into the water. And then I brought him to the disciples, and they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, How long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil. And he was departed out of him. And uh, the child was cured from that very hour. They came, or then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? And Jesus uh, said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit this kind uh, goeth not out, but prayer and fasting. And while they abode in Galilee, Jesus said unto them, The Son of Man shall be betrayed into the hands of men, and they shall kill him. And uh, in the... Let's see, what does that say here? Uh, Oh, unto the third day he shall be raised again. I believe that's what it is there. In the... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just going over my notes here. Uh, and it was so, uh, it was pretty, pretty bad. So, anyway, you guys know how uh, my notes are. I'm still working on them. So, uh, and he shall be raised again, he says on, in verse 23. And he shall be raised again. And they were exceeding sorry. Uh, all right. So, let's look at the next one here. He says, the question of the tribute money. And again, friends, uh, I am live on Spreaker Audio and, of course, Block Talk Radio, Tin Can and more. We're just doing a quick update here, about an hour or so. And I am still your host, Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Minister Podcast Network. Just about six. Uh, I had to... uh, you know, I wanted to get back on here. Basically, I really just wanted to get back on here, back on track, give you guys some scriptures and an update. Uh, now, I'll be back on tomorrow, either in the morning or sometime in the afternoon, uh, for our first uh, video podcast on uh, Melon TV. And then uh, I'll be jumping to Wisdom later that evening and for an audio uh, and then later that night, uh, about 11 or so at Restream TV. I'm trying to get back on focus, back on track. Uh, so, yeah, a lot more for you, friends. A lot more for you. So, uh, we are reading Matthew 17 here. Uh, amen. So, we're talking about the question of the tribute money. Uh, and when they were come to Capernaum, 
They that received tribute money came to Peter and said, or said, Doth not your master pay tribute? And he saith, Yes. And when he was come into the house, Jesus prevented him, saying, What thinkest thou, Simon? Of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? Of their own children or of strangers? And Peter saith unto him, Of strangers, Jesus saith unto him, Then are the children free, notwithstanding lest we should offend them. Go thou to the sea and cast a hook, and take up the fish that first cometh up. Uh, And when they had opened his mouth, or thou hast opened his mouth, thou uh, shalt find a piece of money, and take and give them for me and thee. And there you go, friends. Amen. So, yeah, I'll repeat this again. 16 and 17 in the book of uh, Matthew. I want to get back into the scriptures here. Uh, amen. want to get back into the uh, study. Uh, you know, I appreciate you guys uh, being here. Again, just a quick update uh, podcast message here on Tuesday, my friends. Hey, man, brothers and sisters, boy, I feel good. I feel better. Uh, again, still a little sore and bruised uh, on my side there. Uh, I got a little bit of a burn mark uh, on my on my left side. But, uh, you know, feeling good enough to sit for a couple hours. I've been kind of retraining myself physically to sit back in the chair and just hold on uh, while I podcast. I've, I've managed some good sitting, so... <laughs> I think I'm back. I think I'm ready to go ahead and get back on track here. Uh, Friends, so, hey, that's it. I do appreciate you guys. Let's get the church on. All right. We got that church. You guys all over on Spreaker.com. You guys can hear all that. I uh, always appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys for being here. What a blessing you guys are. And I, uh, I'm i going to get back on track here. We'll get lots more podcasts. Tune in, subscribe, dial in, follow friends. If you can, tell your friends and neighbors, subscribe over at YouTube. Uh, I'm only about five away from 100 subscribers there. So if you can do your part, do your... Uh, you know, uh, help out with the channel. I appreciate that. You know, that always helps out there. Uh, uh, and, and again, it's, you know, I try not to make it about all the numbers, but uh, it, it does help. And like I said, uh, you know, it, uh, it it helps. And so if you guys can do me that favor, uh, you know, uh, as I post these out to the channels, if you guys could just do me a favor and subscribe over at YouTube, get them numbers up. Uh, again, not always about the numbers, but uh, that uh, that helps. And, you know, like I said, I'm going to do this one way or the other. Uh, you guys that are already there, you know, uh, you know, I do appreciate you guys. I've not forgotten about you. I uh, just uh, have been going through a little bit of issues and some physical problems here uh, on, you know, physically. Uh, but... Uh, you know, I'm still going to be here regardless. Uh, I'm not going to let the enemy chase me off, and I'm definitely not going to let the, uh, you know, the depression get the best of me. So, back on it, my friends. Good to see you. Good to be here. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Thank you, guys. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, I'll be back, friends. Uh, We got a full two-week schedule set up already. And uh, as we get closer, I I usually change them out and update those. Uh, So thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys, of course. Uh, So Tuesday, um, (laughs) the 14th, I I think, like I said, I think I might have put the wrong glasses on me. But it is Tuesday the 14th. And, uh, well... Always appreciate you. Almost 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here uh, on your dial. Brothers and sisters, thank you guys again. Church, praise God, my friends. Praise the Lord. Uh, Amen. I am back, uh, ready to uh, keep going. Like I said, not going to give up. Um, You know, I can't walk away from what God called me to do. 
And ex- I expected the enemy attack. Uh, I knew this uh, this is going to be tough. So, uh, but I uh, I'm going to be here, and I'm uh, gonna like I said, very uh, some great scriptures coming your way, friends. A lot of a lot of scriptures we're going to go into the Bible. Not changing the format. Uh, not selling out. Not uh, you know. Not uh, <laughs> not going the other direction with uh, what they you know the enemies. Uh, and uh, uh, no, not going to happen. Stay, uh, sticking to the program, sticking on course here, staying in my lane, and uh, doing what God has called me. So thank you guys again. Bring your Bibles. Make sure next time, friends, you got your copy, your big book, uh, your Bibles, pens, papers, notebook, tablets, highlighters, all that good stuff. Stick around, sign up, follow, subscribe if you can, my friends. Pastor Rick here. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network live on Tuesday, late afternoon, Spreaker, Blog Talk Radio, and more. All right, friends, that's it for me. Let's close out Blog Talk Radio. I'll see you guys on the next broadcast. Amen, friends. Stick around. Hold on, friends. Give me a minute. Right there, you go. So that's good. And like I said, I appreciate you guys. Spreaker.com, channel one. See you on the next broadcast. Take care. All right, uh, channel three. I'll see you on the next broadcast. Take care. Uh, again, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Pastor Rick here. See you soon, friends.